Hello everyone, we have a lot of Android emulation updates from PS3 emulators to Switch. But before that, a big thanks to these peeps around here. Comment down below any thoughts you have and I will include you in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest Android emulation news. Let's get started. First, we have a highly controversial emulator, APS3E, a PS3 emulator for Android. This one's a short-lived emulator, or is it? Well, it was later found out that it violates GPL licensing with codes from RPCS3 and Termox for not releasing the full source code till the project accumulates 2,000 USD donations. This emulator basically uses Termox to emulate the ARM version of RPCS3 with some quality of life improvements like a streamlined front end, on screen touch controls. But hey, I may be wrong here. Anyways, the official project is now dead on GitHub. However, the project still continues under a different site, where I will link down below. With this controversy, a new project emerged called RPCS3 Droid. Jarod, the dev behind Tudachi, is now attempting to run RPCS3 on Android natively. This couldn't happen without the recent APS3E situation. But I guess we'll have to wait how it turns out. Currently, no build is available for testing, but I'll be making a video once the release is out, so stay tuned. Still with Sadachi developer. Apparently, he is forking Strato, an upcoming Switch emulator and the successor to Skyline. Anyways, there's not much for now and no release build yet to test. Switch emulation still. Citron get a new update, version 0.5. I'm hoping for the Android multiplayer update, but this update does not have it, unfortunately. Anyways, here are some of the changes. Version 0.5 introduces enhancements to core functionality, service implementations, and platform-specific optimizations, improves stability, enhanced network features, and better Android compatibility. Vulkan improvements added Samsung driver workarounds, added memory alignment for Qualcomm drivers, added license verification for Android app, added RAM usage overlay, improved thermal display, preliminary fix for 0fps bug, and if you want a detailed changes, link will be in the description below. New GPU drivers from Kimchi are also available for download. Mesa Turnip Driver version 25.1.0 revision 2 with general optimizations and bug fixes. Qualcomm Driver version 805 extracted from MetaQuest 3. And yes, I saw that. We also have a new update for Citra MMJ, a 3DS emulator for Android. In this update, it fixes online Pokemon connectivity issues and modified some of the audio output options. Download links will be provided below. When later after a mod got a new update. Version 9.0 after mod 3. It replaces Y9.2 files, fixed some games without characters or outlines, added Zinc 22.2.0, fixed some game slowdowns, registry entries, Fix some text glitches, offline packages, and some other fixes. Lastly, a new version of GameHub is now up, version 2.0.6, where it fixed the issue where downloaded games would repeatedly download after completion. New login options, crash fixes, optimized speed of importing games from Steam VRAM limit function. Fixed path conversion failures. To get the update, just open the app and make sure you are connected to the internet. Alright, that's it for today. Don't forget to comment your thoughts down below. As always, I will provide links for all these updates. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching 
and the happy emulating games. <laughs>